No doll, I don't feed you for I don't feed you for weeks. No doll. No doll, I don't feed you for weeks, but here I have a cucumber. We have cucumber, you can eat cucumber. Hi little sloths, welcome to my mukbang. Today I have Mr. Noodle. I mean Mr. Noodle is over here and Mr. Orlin. Pick him up. Oh, oh yeah, your shirt. His nails are very long. There you go. There we go. No, 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 no. You're gonna be on Orlin today. So welcome <laughs> to my mukbang to get today, you guys. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope that you have something great to eat because we're gonna be eating together. But first, before I stuff food in my face like I love to do, I'm gonna show you how I make burritos. This is very simple, very easy. Well, seriously, half the stuff was canned, but I just wanna show you how I make my burritos, which I love so much. And I'm so happy to finally be doing this. This is a highly requested video from all you guys. Here, the look what I found. Ooh, tor tortilla. So I still have to do my cheesy quesadilla mukbang, but for right now we're gonna do burritos. So the ingredients that you are going to need are some sweet corn, some lentils, and some potatoes, a can of black beans. Here we have some freshly chopped cooked bell pepper. Cooked bell pepper. And we, uh, thank you, my memory. Um, we also have some greens, raw lettuce. raw lettuce. We have a lot of cooked rice. And we have a bowl of freshly chopped tomatoes, some sriracha, some soy meat, some butter, soy meat, soy meat, and tofu. Mm -hmm. So, oh yeah, these are small. They're very small. Okay, see, then we will need. Which one was open first? This, this one. Okay. So we'll get another one out. Okay, well let's just do one at a time. Okay, so the first step I'm gonna do is take my meat that's made out, this smells like stuffing, Thanksgiving stuffing. It's like a special kind of vegetarian meat. Well, it's, and it's made with like quinoa and beans and sprouts and stuff. <laughs> stuff, it's made with stuff. So I'm going to- um, Well, let's try doing this. Let's try the lettuce first. The lettuce first? A bit of lettuce. Okay, see, Chef Orlin's here to help me today. I was gonna put, yeah, this keep me on him. Like a thin layer. Thin layer, thin layer. Okay, next, meat. Okay. Or rice, probably rice. Probably rice. So it's a nice fluffy bed. This is what I did for my tacos, if you guys remember. So we're gonna add just two spoonfuls of white rice. You can use brown rice if you like. I personally do not like okay. brown rice. Okay, give me some meat. Yucky. Right. And my hands are clean, by the way. Oh, you just wanna use your hands? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I thought about using a spoon, but I guess not. All right, we're gonna put our meat on. There. You can use That's whatever enough. kind you want. Now we have tofu. You can use whatever kind you want. Well, lots of, you know, this is very open. Lots of varieties for making good tacos. Oh, some tomatoes. Tomatoes. Tomato, tomato. Some tomatoes, and we add some, we already have some lettuce and some tofu. We do. Okay, now I add. Some pepper. And I'll add some corn. I'm gonna use my hands too. This okay. is already getting very full. Yeah. So let's do just a little, a little of bit of beans. Black beans. Oh, they're very soupy. Mmm, jajamyeon. Mmm, jajamyeon. Okay. It kind of looks like jajamyeon. See, that's blacker than any jajamyeon we've ever made. <laughs> I know the irony. I know. Okay, so Sorry. we'll use lentils for la la next time. Okay. And we let's make this bit. a little flavorful. We're gonna add some butter. Yummy. And I want this one to be very buttery, so I'm just gonna go like this. Next time, we are going to take the butter and spread it on the bottom. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, to fold this properly, this is already too full, isn't it? I think what I did last time is that I put another one on top. Yeah, but then how do you fold it like a burrito? Um, I just uh, fold them up to each other. This is too big. The, are these the same size? Big. Yeah, they are. Oh, they look big because they're in a big package. How about we try this one like this? Let's see if it works. Let's try this one. But no, how would how would we fold it? Like that. Mm. And then what did you fry? Or? <laughs> He's like, well, you can pass it on down to me. So this time around, now that I see the size, we're not going to put so much ingredients. No, I'll just wait. You want lettuce? Okay, so these have plastic in the middle. So you have to be careful not to eat the You're plastic. Eating lettuce. Oh my gosh, he's that hungry. He never eats lettuce. All right, so we're just gonna do a sprinkle, and we're gonna do some butter. Whoa. Mmm, I like my butter. And oh, to spread it. Yeah. Oh, that butter is so delicious. 
Okay, so here we go. I hope everyone's having a really good day. We're starting all over again, but that's okay. We're just gonna do a little bit of all ingredients because these are very teeny tiny. Here we go. And we add some tofu drop and we add some, mm, it's cheesy tofu with some corn. And we add one spoonful of bean. It's still really full. <laughs> and we do two potatoes. Try folding it. Oh, and peppers. One pepper. It already has it. It's already, no, no, I think this is better. Yeah. See, so what you want to do is put it all on one side, mm -hmm. flip it. Oh, here. Doble la parte inferior hacia el rogeno. Mm -hmm. So, it worked out great. Oh my gosh, I'm just too hungry. You're gonna eat them fully raw? You know, you don't actually have to cook it. Wait, are you gonna make a thumbnail? <laughs> What's the thumbnail gonna be? I don't know. Now you know the steps. This is a great recipe, right? Give this a thumbs up if you enjoy. Yay, we are professional chefs. So, anyways, we're gonna turn off the camera and we're gonna make a bunch of burritos with even less ingredients, but that means more for the tummy, right? So, mm -hmm. see you in a hot second. This was a very weird start because we didn't really know. Well, here's the thing. Nick is not feeling his best right now. Let's mm -hmm. be honest. When am I ever? He's feeling spacey right now, and we're just gonna eat this because it's gonna help his brain. This is a step-by-step -step recipe. Here is all of our burritos, and I won't drop it. There they are. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight burritos, and I wanna fry them. It's one of those days, sometimes you know, when you feel bad. Sometimes you gotta bring out your inner polydine. Yeah, it's like, I don't feel good today, so let, let's just feel worse. <laughs> Put in the oil. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. Mmm, let's put these here. You want me to bring the oil brush? No, it's okay. We can use, um... I have an oil brush right We can now. use one of these, right? No, no, no. no. I would rather wash that. You have a brush? Oh, yeah, we do. There are a lot of people requested that we get one. We got one. We have one. This is technically to glaze ribs with barbecue sauce. But it works as the same thing. So, you guys, step number one, my favorite part. Add your oil. Uh, ouch! Okay, it's ready. All right, ow. All right, so let's add this, is this? Yeah, it's ready. So let's add the Burrito. tortillas. Burritos. Burritos, here we go. Oh! Ooh. Do we have uh, tongs over there or some kind of spoon? So I'm also gonna add sriracha sauce to this, but I'm gonna wait till it's done cooking. I want a kick. <gasps> and see, it kind of glues it together. You know, kind of sort of, not really. <clears throat> Empty, like my head, <laughs> like my brain, empty. Look, and all the tofu is coming out. Here it has the cheese and the tofu and the everything. Oh. A little bit more on the bottom. Yeah, this one looks nice. I'm gonna put this one out. <laughs> okay, this one's gonna come out. That's done? Yeah. Oh, here. Ouch! Oh, I touched my hand on that. Mm -hmm. Poor thing. I know. Okay. All right, let's do this one. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, they smell so nice. Okay, let's ch check these on the bottom. I'm gonna make sure. Yeah, this brightness is okay. You guys can see us all right, yeah? All right. Looking good, looking good. Does it need more oil? No. No. Fine. Fine. Alright. Um. Talk about something. I don't know. I'm. You guys, I am. It's one of those days where I'm just kind of drained from the mind. Sometimes you stuff yourself with so much information about this and that, and then you drive yourself crazy and you don't know what to believe. And I'm like, am I even real? Why do I exist? Is this a computer game? <laughs> Then you start believing on conspiracy. You've been watching too much Shane Dawson. Uh, Shane Dawson, you're messing up my head, man. <laughs> you're messing up my head. No, it's just one of those days where I, I'm just drained and I just want to be in good company. I asked Orlin to join me. I was going to do this by myself. I'm just like, really? I, I don't. I have so many stories for you. You I know, think I you overstuff this one. I can always talk. Oh, I did. Yeah, you did. Uh, I, you know, I could always talk, but some days I need a break from talking. I just need to be in good company and. 
just eat and not worry. Like um, Simone and Pumbaa. Timon and Pumbaa. Oh, Simone. Timon. Raven Simone. Ain't no worry for the rest of your days. It's a problem free. Boom, boom, philosophy. Boom, boom, akuna matata. Ooh, ooh, akuna matata. Okay, we're gonna have to restart this. Oh, yeah, it's okay. All right, here, <laughs> let me help you. Okay. All right, so we forgot the correct kitchen supplies to do this. When you're following along, don't use a strainer and a sauce glider to flip burritos. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well it's working out. I went downstairs and I read, I reread the definition of fry. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, if these two soaked up the oil, these have no oil. Oh, now it's fine. Oh yeah, here we go. And these? <gasps> oh, it's gonna yeah, be nice though. People are going to be like, no, no more oil. <laughs> and let's just do all of them. Let's get them over with. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm putting on the oil with the brush. It's like sun tanning. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Or tanning our burritos. Mm, yes. Oh, it's a little bit sprinkly. Oops, sorry. All right, so I have these to flip them once they're fried. Mm -hmm. Fried it. Okay, let's see how these fly. <clears throat> Oh, I, I have to make noodles. I made noodle a little tiny. Are we going to fry it for noodle though? Should we? No. We no. Should we should give I it could heat it up here where there's no oil. Okay. Just <laughs> bake it. Oils live in large. I mean, um, Mr. Noodle lives large. He's in the Well, this room. is not being fried. This isn't the part that has no oh, oil. Oh, it still has a little trace of oil. Mr. Noodle lives large. He does. He's a party ant. You know, he's happy. My grandmother had one that lived to be 80 or 90. And she fed it. Each Christmas, she would give him white white wine, which is really bad for parents. <gasps> and he would get drunk and talk a lot. It's so bad. You should not give your parents alcoholic beverages or caffeine or theobromine. But now everyone's going to be curious. You, you can YouTube search. They have them on YouTube. Drunk parents. Yeah, it's a big thing. Probably in, Spanish people. It's a type big it, thing in Colombia. Type it in Spanish. Yeah. El Drunco de Perio. <laughs> Drunco. Oops. Loro Borracho would be the... Right. But yeah, I'm not recommending that you do it. I'm just telling you that the Amazon parent my grandmother had, he would eat chicken bones, beans, meat, ribs, everything. Everything. Mm -hmm. Except avocado. But uh, yeah. So I don't know. It's like... <laughs> who knows? Who knows? I used to work for an avian veterinarian. Well, I worked for three avian veterinarians. Oh, fancy. You've been all over. Yeah. And they're all, they all have different ideas on what should be fed to parrots. Some recommend pellets, some recommend whole food, some recommend giving them meat, some say you don't. Like, it's just like humans. It's just like humans. You, you never don't know. know what to believe. It's a lot of confusing. And so much is skewed and biased. Mm -hmm. This is very nice. These are, these are. Mm -hmm. nice. These got nice and sealed. Mm. So here's the trick. When you make, ow! Oh! When you, ouch! Cover this up. Ah! Oh. You burn yourself? No. Ah. <laughs> okay, here's why it's happening. You put lettuce on this. Oh. Here, I'll eat this. Oh. Fried, no, this is fried burger. This is meat. Yeah, whenever you put water onto oil, it sprinkles. Mmm. Yeah. That meat does not taste like meat, though. It's very sweet. It's not really that good. It's not like meat. You know what I'm thinking? We should make a burrito pyramid. A burrito pyramid? With all the burritos. Oh, we could. We would have so many ingredients. What do you guys think? Should we all, should we go all out? Oh, yes. Should we go Furious Pete on this? Furious Pete, what would you do? Ow! He would make a giant burrito and eat the whole thing and make a lot of money from it. That's what he would do. Yeah. Well, I eat all my food. Why I don't make a lot of Why can't I make a lot of money <laughs> for cleaning my plate? Noodles burrito is not doing anything. Okay, so do we want to give these any more time? No. No, they're good. No, we're gonna make a we're gonna make a pyramid. These are gonna be our base. Okay. So these I don't want. Ouch! Oops! I don't want these to get too burnt. So we're gonna take them off. I like them <gasps> crunchy. Okay, well those are yours. Orlin's eating with me today. Crunchy. Aren't you guys I excited? Am mm -hmm. I'm excited. He's eating with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Those noodles. Right okay, let me get this stuff out. Here, take this off. Ouch. It's a problem free philosophy. Hakuna <gasps> Matata. Ooh. 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 Oh. Hi, guys. Okay, we're back. So, we have made, put a little put a sriracha. sriracha. Which is glorified hot sauce. Glorified hot sauce. We're just going to put a little in here. And on here, and on here, and on here, and on here. Ooh. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Look at this. I like, I like a... Living. <gasps> Living for it though. Oh, and let's add a little butter. You want some butter? I always want butter. Yes. Life is better with butter, says Paula Dean. Here's Nurdles. She's right. Nurdles. I mean, you want taco. <gasps> Ooh, yes. Oh, he's into Ooh, it. Oh, yes, yes, he's yes. Into it. He's so into it. Oh, gosh. This looks incredible. Yeah, I can't possibly fi figure out why I feel bad these days. Do you know? I don't know. Mm. Not enough food. Yeah, enough food, yeah. This is just an appetizer. People are going <gasps> Okay, doesn't this look amazing? <laughs> Sorry, <Dean. laughs> Sorry, <Dean>. <laughs> <laughs> Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Cheese! Keto nap! Uh, <laughs> I love avocados! <laughs> I love <laughs> Here we go, let's have our first bites. I want to feed you your first bite. So I'm going to get one that's really fried. Because you've been too clean for too long. I have See, that makes you feel bad. I've been eating clean. Too clean, no. You have to eat like this. Okay. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. Good? Mm-hmm. Oh! Dry right into the beans. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Check that out! Full of flavor. Nice and fried. Ooh, that sriracha. It's not really hot, though. Oh, I think that's hot. I mean, it's, it is hot. I did the, this a Korean noodle challenge where I put like half the bottle of sriracha onto my noodles and I cried at the end. My face, you guys saw my face, I turned bright red. There's noodles burrito. Aww. He's very full. We put him into his house and we didn't know that we left a bunch of rice in there. He ate the whole thing. He ate the whole thing. Let me show them noodles. noodles. Look, at his, look at his diaper. Oh. His chest diaper's full. You see that gray part? Looks like a like an adult diaper. That's called a crop on the bird. A crop. And that's where they store all their food. Mm-hmm. Before they digest it. Before they digest it. You know, that's why, you know, they say that adult birds feed the little birds. Beep, 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 beep. Because they, like, spit it back up. That's where they keep it. Yes, I know. Here, this is Noodle's baby burrito. Noodle's baby burrito. Isn't it cute? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give him some. Come here. Come here. You have to walk this way. Walk this way. Walk this way, or lean that way. Mmm, this is so good. Oh, Mr. Noodle. Mr. Noodle likes. This one's fully raw, though. The crust isn't cooked. Oh, you like the raw one? I like the raw one. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I'm into it. Mmm. Mmm. Give me the right Yeah? Mmm. -hmm. I have this here as a napkin if you want. I'm gonna keep it on our laps, okay? Mm -hmm. So grab it when you need it. Oh, I'll need it. <laughs> noodle? Say noodle! Try that again. Noodle! Noodle! Did you guys hear? Say one more time. Noodle! 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 Oh! He's too full to bother. Noodle! <laughs> Burro! Bravo! Special goodish mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And now his cute little nur Give this a thumbs up if you like nur nur noodles. I almost said noodle. If you like Mr. Noodles burrito, <laughs> comment down below and say I love noodles burrito. Mm -hmm. Do it right now. Let's see how many comments we get. I love noodles burrito. Mmm. 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 That tofu. Mmm. Cheesy tofu. It's called cheese tofu. This is good. Mmm. Comment down below and tell us what you're eating. Mm. You wish you had this though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
All right, here's number number two for me. Covering Orlin's face so it focuses, which it doesn't focus. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Okay. Do you, you like the sriracha? Want the sriracha part? Mmm. 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 You guys should check out his uh, fire noodle challenge. <clears throat> now I'm thinking of sriracha. It was really well made. That, that was a uh, very fiery, like, bunch of pasta. It looks so red. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Yeah, I literally went, like, through all of our hot sauce to make that. <laughs> you know, the cayenne pepper and, like, whatever. <laughs> oh, that's right. So she fixed it downstairs. Mmm. Gonna add some beans to this. When I woke up today, I had some bananas and then two packets of ramen with the the chicken powder. That was good. Um, what else did I do? That's it. Tell them that you almost. What did you What did you give me? You gave me something. Banana. No. Something else, I thought. Mm -hmm. Did you make me something today? Maybe I'll just see. Lentils. Yeah, oh, lentils. Yeah, I tried some lentils. Mm -hmm. Tell them about how lightheaded you got from bananas. Mm. Very. Like, I went out because I'm trying to get a perch for a noodle, and someone's making it for me. And I went out literally for like half an hour, and I came back, and Nick was like, Oh, I had to eat three packs of ramen because I almost fainted. <laughs> And you're like, are you serious? I'm like, I know. You just had like five bananas, you know, before, like half an hour ago. Why were you going to think? I don't know. <laughs> All right, where are my Japanese sloths? I know some of you have commented, hello, thank you for commenting. I love my Japanese sloths. Mm. And you know, Asian cultures have been around for much, 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 much longer than the European cultures, American culture, Australian culture. They have had thousands of years more to perform. To play around with food. And they view fruits as snacks. They think fruits should be snacks. They say that sugar ages them. Yeah. Well, we've seen it with our own eyes. Which is true. With some people. If you go on Wikipedia, the first thing that comes up is sugar aging. No? You can, it's a thing. Look it up. Sugar ages. But why? What's in sugar? But my Japanese, Japanese friends, you guys, I need to start treating fruits as snacks like you do. And focus more on vegetables. I really should. Which I have been doing for like the past five months. Mm -hmm. But I need to take it to the next level. Well, right now we're eating a lot of vegetables. Oh, yeah. Mm. Five servings. You know, I feel like in America, they view pizza as a, a complete meal. Is of, that what your mom would say? A complete vegetable. Sweet. Pizza is classified as a vegetable in the United States. And your mom was like, the pizza has the bread, the whole wheat. The, the, no, she was like... Five hey. servings of vegetable because of the tomato sauce. <laughs> Protein. <laughs> mm. Anyways, enough of diet talk. I don't like... I don't like talking about diet, you know? I don't... Mm. Oh, how tasty this is. Mm. Mm. I like... When they fry the bread. Mm. I think when it's, like, you know, raw or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like this is what, ew, ew, my finger just went through that. This is what it looks like. All right, it's like this, ugh. This is what it looks like here. It looks like a piece of paper. It's just very like, doughy. It's nice, but this is more complete. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry, that was really bad. Noodle, do you want some more? Oh. Noodle. Noodle. He is so full. Okay, we're gonna offer this one to Noodle. He... <laughs> How dare you laugh at me? He's like, ha ha ha, I don't want that one. Noodle! <laughs> He's so impressed by its size. Noodle! Oh, okay. Now you can have yours. Your healthy one. <laughs> Eat your little baby burrito. Such trickery. Trickery. Hmm. Mmm. 
This was a success. Yeah. We didn't think it would end up well. It we were like, oh my gosh, we've never made burritos. What is wrong with us? It ended up really well. I'm very proud of this. I'm going to sell it. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Let's pat it. How many of you like to lay on your lover when you when you when you eat? Mm. I'm very into food. I just when I'm eating, I just do eating. No, no, he's mine. Get over it, okay? You know, Noodle sometimes gets jealous of when when I start kissing Nick or something. He'll start kissing back. Oh yeah, so Noodle's in his house, right? Up mm -hmm. up against the wall. Or then and I, well, I'm at my com office in the computer room, and one comes up to me and you know give each other some kisses, and then. Noodle. Noodle, noodle. Oi. He starts like, say no, come to me, come to me. He gets jealous. Yeah, but he never does that. Like, I tried kissing to him when it's raining. He completely ignores. Mm -hmm. He ignores. Like, he knows exactly when, when a kiss is like a real kiss. He was about to say it, but he's like, you know, I'm really full, and that takes calories to talk. Nah. <laughs> he just went like, ah. Noodle. Kura. Noodle. Oh, there you go. Mmm. You can do it. It's not that much. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. The rice is really good. I like the tofu. Oh my gosh, this is Mexican sushi. It is. <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh, we are down to two more. Have a spoonful of beans before you chew the burrito. And then like chew it with the burrito, like mix it with the burrito in your mm. mouth. It's really good. It's like hummus. No avocado here, you guys. I forgot <clears throat> to add avocado to it. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's delicious. Ah, uh, yeah, I did forget. I was gonna. I had it in the fridge and everything. It's okay. Ouch! Breaking your hat. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. -hmm. What else could we add to this? They're not full enough for you. Mmm. Mmm. Orlin wants all of it. Mmm. Noodles jealous. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. 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 Lady and the trumpet. Lady and the tramp the burrito. Mm-hmm. With it. <laughs> nah. Hey you guys, we're gonna try it to Lady and the Tramp. I'm a little nervous because I just, I imagine food flying everywhere. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Ouch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's a good idea, but not, not, in, not in practice. Mmm. Mmm, it's good though. Mmm. Delicious. This is the best one. Yeah. What do you do to this one? And you hyper filled it. Yeah, I put a lot of stuff in there. Mmm. A lot of the meat. Mmm. And um, a lot of rice, too. Mmm. It's good. This, it's buttery, too. Oh, see, this is the one where I spread the butter around with the knife. I'm very happy about that. Yeah. Living. Living. For this. Mantequilla. What's mantequilla? Butter. Butter. Oh. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's embarrassing, but I'm not embarrassed by it, but maybe. I only eat six, my mom drills it into my head every time mm. I call her. You don't know Spanish. You were so good at languages 20 years ago. Mm. <laughs> you got a B minus in Latin. Mm. That means you should be fluent. <laughs> no excuse. You live in a Spanish household. It's, it's, it's like, well, I live... In a musical household, does that mean Orlin's good at playing violin now because he hears me play it all day? Nope. I mean, you know, that's different, but still. Didn't she go to Mexico? My, I think she did, for her honeymoon. Well, she, they went to Jamaica, 
and Cancun. I think they did two honeymoons. Mm. Yeah, two honeymoons. I, I believe so. I could be wrong. I don't... But uh, they have photos from when they were my age in the waterfalls in Jamaica and then at this like uh, beach house in, in Yucatan, in Cancun, in Tulum. Tulum, oh. Okay. They went to Can Cancun and Tulum. Where we went on our one of our first trips together. That was fun. What do we do there? Oh, we don't remember. I don't even remember anything from that. Nope. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my gosh, remember that time we went to a cave together? <gasps> that was in Guatemala. Tell them the story from your perspective, and then I'll tell them mine. Okay, so I'm like, Nick, let's go to a cave. We get to see all these cool animals, these troglobite animals that only live inside caves, and we get to see the stalagmites and the stalactites and all these things. It's like, okay, sure. So we take a, we take a tuk-tuk, which is like one of those uh, motorcycle cars that they have in India and in China. It's like their cab, their taxi. They also have them in Ethiopia. I saw a bunch in Ethiopia. But anyways, we took one. The guy Middle had like, of nowhere. The guy had a gun in his tuk-tuk and a machete. And he was very sketchy. I was so sc I was so scared. And Nick was freaking out. I'm like, okay. Because we were in the middle of nowhere, I was like, driving oh, to this cave. Sorry. Yeah, I was like, Nick, it's fine. He probably has that for thieves. No, you were scared too. Was I? Yeah. Because if people found out we were American, they could shoot us. No one would know. And they would sell, oh, our, yeah. sell our passports on the, black, scared for on the, on the black market for 500 bucks, which is a lot of money to these people. It's a lot of money to us. You know, it's a lot of money. Yeah, I think I was scared. Yeah, you're the one that told me those ideas. I would have never known that our, my passport was so, like, we skip, We left our hotel to go to another one because it got hot. <laughs> there were some weird guys, like, just checking us out. Well, they were like, selling drugs in that hotel. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was a little afraid for my life. But, yeah, keep going about the, the cave. Mm. So you get to the, the cave. There's mm. no one there. No one. And we, we didn't bring a light. We just had our iPhone. We were stupid. <laughs> we were, yeah. We were basically living off avocados at that point, so maybe that's why we, we weren't thinking. <laughs> we were a little spacey. So we go in with our iPhone light, my iPhone 4 light. Nick had his iPhone, but you didn't charge it. I didn't charge it. So we just had my iPhone was very glitchy. A huge cave, all right? Mm-hmm. And we go deeper and deeper and deeper. I'm like, Nick, this is so cool. Wow, look at this. And, and was, I'm in flip-flops, by the way. Nick was freaking out. Because I'm like, oh, you know that there's some bats in here, probably. And all of a sudden, one flew by my face. One flew by his face, yeah. And he got so scared. You can imagine. I was, like, screaming. And it, the, the bat kept going around us. Because it's a huge cave. It's like this big system underground. Mm -hmm. And it was in this one little hub, mm -hmm. this one section of the cave. And the, the bat just kept coming down by my face. I'm like, oh, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. And I'm in my flip flops and I'm stubbing along. I didn't want to go out. I was so into it. Mm. I remember I got, we got out of it. I was like, that was not fun. I was laughing at you. He, he was laughing. I remember. Nick was so pissed at me. <laughs> I was actually kind of mad. Because we didn't prepare. But, I don't know. If we would have had boots and a flashlight and emergency kit and first aid kit and a blind stick walker, just, you know, very prepared. All the, all the essentials. <sighs> it was a bonding experience. <laughs> yeah. It made him think, do I want to be with this? <laughs> if he won't be on an adventure with me. Well, we weren't together, though. No, we were, we just, were friends. just friends. We still took like a good half a year to become a couple after mm -hmm. that. Yeah. I remember when we first became a couple. <clears throat> we just decided one day in his room. <laughs> And it was at his mom's house. Don't worry, this is G-rated, kids. It's uh, you already told that story. No, yeah. it's it's been deleted. <laughs> I've deleted over 200 videos on my channel. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I remember you went to your mom in the kitchen. And you were just like, we're a couple now. <laughs> it was the most awkward thing. It was so awkward. But she always thought we were. She always asked, right? She was so confused. She was like, what are you doing in that room all the time? We were literally just eating all the time. We would just eat fruit and like talk about the stars. And watch YouTube. And watch YouTube. We were obsessed with YouTube. You yeah. didn't play your violin at all. Didn't touch it. Mm hmm Had no energy, probably. Eat this. I'm full. Your brain's not working today. My brain never works. <laughs> Is this still recording? Yeah. I can't actually, <clears throat> I can't see the camera because I don't have my glass on. 
Oh, you see the blinking light now on the, the left-hand side? No, I don't. You don't see that? That means the battery's about to die. Oh. You don't see that? I see it now. Yeah. Do you remember what you told your mom? Like, your words? Probably not. No, Maybe. a couple. That's what you said. What is it? That's all I remember. She's like, I knew. It's kind of obvious. Or she says something sarcastic. Well, that's to be expected of your mom. She's the queen of sarcasm. Oh my gosh, if my mom and your mom could communicate, it would be so funny. See, but my mom is funny and then like, sarcastic, nice way. Your mom is like a, a sly, like... Almost mean way. Mean way of yeah. being funny. <laughs> your mom. Yeah, no. <laughs> I would still love to see them communicate. They never will, but... My well, mom, your mom can say that's a Karasha and Felice Navidad. And where's the bathroom? I used to make fun of- Oh yeah, where's the bathroom? I used to make fun of your mom when we were in one of my- I was like, if your mom was here, she'd just be saying Felice Navidad to all these Felice people. Navidad! Felice Navidad! <laughs> Felice Navidad! Because my mom took Spanish in high school and she's very proud that she can speak a few sentences. She can say Felice Navidad. And she- every time I- I call her, or- yeah. Uh, she says, well, put Orlin on the right, I can practice my Spanish, ha 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 ha. And, uh, you know, it's like, hola, como estas? And Feliz it. Navidad. Yeah, Feliz Navidad. <laughs> well, this is the time of year for her da, da 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 Oh, you told me she had workers Why? fixing her roof once that were from Mexico, right? She did. My mom what did she say to, What did she say to them? Feliz Navidad the whole time? Probably. <laughs> Feliz Navidad? Oh, this nail. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> <clears throat> I think I've told this story before, but I'll say it real quick. My, my parents were really nice to the Mexican roof workers. You know, a lot of Americans. Now, obviously, the majority of people watching this right now are probably from the United States. But those of, they, that, those of you that aren't, I'll fill you in. You know, we have immigrants from all over the world. And a, a lot of Americans feel that it's becoming too much, too overwhelming. We need to be stricter. We have enough people here, yada, yada. And so they kind of look down on Mexicans because, by default, it's the closest country to the United States. And they're the... The first ones to try to come in illegally and legally and um a lot of people frown upon them for taking our jobs but my mom always pointed out to me that they do the jobs that americans don't want to do they don't want to pick tomatoes no, i would sorry. never see my mom on top of a roof nailing in shingles i my, would when, never see my mom ever when my mom got to america 20 years ago she got there illegally now she's legal but before she wasn't she used to make um, two dollars an hour, like two dot one dollar fifty cents an hour, something like that. In New York. In New York. Yeah. yeah. And she was sleeping on the floor in an apartment with like ten people. They were all from Colombia. Yeah. That's it's not easy being an immigrant in the U.S. And she was working. At, she was at a phone booth. A lot of the ones that tend to go to the United yeah. States are ones that. Um, well, she are more had, driven. They're there to do something. She had to work for they like to work. two years to save up $2,000 to, to get to the U.S. Well, anyways, my mom, as I was saying, we had Mexicans fix her roof before we sold the house back in Maryland. Mm -hmm. And she, my, she told my dad, go out to McDonald's and buy like 10 cheeseburgers and 10 sodas and 10 large fries and bring it all back. Because it was like four or five workers. It was a team of them. And they fed them all. I, I don't think... They had to, it wasn't part of the contract, and they, they, my mom was just like, well, they're out there working hard in the sun. Like, labor work is the hardest work of, of work, if you think about it. I mean, I've had computer jobs, I've had freelance jobs, and I've had labor work. Carrying concrete at Home Depot for nine hours in the sun in Florida. That was so funny when you did that. The worst job I've ever had. Have you told them about the tip? Was working at Home Depot. Yeah, and some lady gave me a quarter that she, she saw on the ground and was like, oh, pick that up. That's her tip. And I was like, out of breath. I would rather get no tip. <laughs> concrete all day. Excuse That's me. such a nasty thing to say. So. You got some really nasty characters at Home Depot. I worked there with Depot. Them. Home Depot. Oh, Depot. Oh, Depot. I always correct him. He Depot. says Depot. Home Depot. 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 <clears throat> or Tara Jackie. Tara Jackie. And everyone's like freaking out in my comment section. Okay, in Colombia, the Y makes the okay. J noise. So, yeah. yeah. Jackie. <laughs> I'm full. Are you full? I want to finish this. I this is noodles, noodles, right? Yeah. Do you want any more noodle? He is so full. He's like dozing off. He's eat like it. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mmm. Okay. Now he's just spitting it out. He's not swallowing. I'm watching him. He's just breaking it apart now. Oh, he's just playing. He's just playing with it. Well, parents are like that. Like 90% of what they do is throw out the food on the floor and then 10% they eat. <laughs> 
They're so adorable. Come here. I guarantee he'll watch my other side. He likes the left side for some reason. Yeah, he always goes here. Anyways, you guys, we're full. We literally just ate. How many was this? Eight or seven? Seven, I think. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It was eight if you count noodles. So I'm going to eat noodles so I can title this eight burritos. Noodle, you were too healthy. Why are you so healthy? <laughs> Why? Why are you so healthy? Mm. Too not enough butter. Mm. Okay, well thanks so much for eating with- oh! This was, this was a very relaxed mukbang. I know mine are usually more chaotic. Animated all over the place, but this was very relaxing. Part of which is because he's here and I just, you know. I'm glad- this was nice. I just feel good. I feel good. I feel better. Remember how I wasn't feeling good when we turned the camera on? Mm -hmm. I feel better. I just needed food. So, how's your brain doing? It's working. Mm -hmm. My name is Nicholas. <laughs> I am making YouTube videos on YouTube, and I am an expat from the United States. I, I know my identity, and I what? And I eat a lot. I eat. I eat, and I eat, and I eat. Well, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really appreciate your time. If you're new, please consider subscribing because I make videos every single day on this channel. If you're a returning sloth, Thank you for your time, and please consider leaving a comment so I get to know you because I have my regular sloths that I see and keep an eye on all the time, and it's nice. It's like I'm building friendships and what? Give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. <laughs> and say bye, Mr. New. Oh. 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 That's one way to make it to the left shoulder. Oh. <laughs> it's because you're higher. That's why. Well, thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow for another mukbang. And, oh, and before I go, I just want to remind you that I post my videos now at a standard time. I always post from now on, which I have been doing for the last month probably, at noon Los Angeles time. So every single day around noon, unless otherwise said by me on Snapchat or Twitter or Facebook, you can expect a video from me, video from me at noon Los Angeles time. That's my regular upload time. <clears throat> so the sooner you get here, the faster you can leave a comment and I can see you and you can be one of the first to watch it. Or, I don't know. I don't know. A lot of you guys like to be first or be among the first couple thousand. And that's really fun. I know I do that to, when Shane posts right away. You especially. I watch his videos immediately. immediately. For me, I love Trisha. I, I can't Trisha. eat unless I watch Hindals and do eat something really bad. <laughs> when he's on his healthy, healthy cleanses, he loves to watch Shane eat the things he can. For me, I love Trisha. I watch uh, almost everything of her, and we also like Joey. This is now. This is just a ramble. Over. We're shouting out Joey Gosefo because he really needs the subs. Oh yeah, Joey really needs our help. <laughs> Let's give him a shout out. <laughs> Same with Shane and Trisha. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I want to do a mukbang with Trisha so bad. I before I die, before I get off YouTube, it is my goal to do an eating show with Trisha. Maybe all your thoughts can comment on the, they can spam all her videos and her social media telling her to Nick with, collab with Nick Akata Avocado. Mm. I think I have to get more sloths to justify. I think she sees me as like a, an ant on the ground right now. <laughs> that she don't mind squishing. So just so funny. maybe one day, you know, that's my dream. I don't know. I just I like characters. So, anyways, now I'm blabbing. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Kisses for my little baby fishies. My fishies.